Hey, it's Jake, and we're moving on to HashiCorp Vault built-in help. So we went with uh, Vault write and read from multiple paths, the KV Secrets Engine, the Dynamic AWS Creds, the AWS Secrets Engine Provider. In both cases, the structure and use of each Secrets Engine kind of different. Like AWS Backend has special paths like AWS slash config and stuff like that. Instead of having to memorize or reference documentation constantly, which I do as somebody who writes Terraform and CloudFormation templates, um, you can you can actually use the built-in help system. So this help system can be accessed via the API or the command line and generates human-readable help for any path. So let's say I need AWS help. I can say vault secrets enable, well, I already have it enabled. If you don't already, vault secrets enable path AWS AWS, and then I can go vault path help AWS. Let's take a look at what this sucker does. It's going to be at least a little bit. OK, so you can see here it has a description. And it has some paths. So we can see that it has creds, generate AWS cre uh, credentials from a vault role, config, configure the lease information, uh, config root for root credentials, config ro rotate root, rotate the AWS creds used by vault, roles, and then a bunch of regex, <laughs> read, write, and reference IAM policies access keys can be made for. And then roles question mark with a variable list the existing roles in this backend. So the va the vault path help command takes a path, and when you specify a root path, it gives you the overview of that secrets engine. And notice how help not only contains a description, but also, like I said, the regex used to match routes for the backend along with the brief description of the route the route is for. For example, this guy. Okay. Um, so that was our path help for AWS. What about diving a little bit deeper for an individual path? So let's say I want to do vault path help for AWS creds and then my non-existent role. <laughs> mom, <laughs> mom existent role? All right, cool. It doesn't exist either way, so it'll tell you. Um, hey, here's here's a name of the role, a role ARN, a session name, a TTL, a description, et cetera, et cetera. Um, within a path, you're given parameters that the path requires, and some parameters come from the route itself. In this case, the name parameter we saw here um, is a name captured from the route regular expression, and there's also a description of what that path does. So you can go ahead, go check out more paths, use the path help, uh, vault path help, and check out different things. But if you ever get lost, or you're not quite sure something, or your command's not working right, or you just have questions about, well, what other stuff can I do? Just do uh, the the vault path help. It's kind of like the man page of vault, if you will. So, anyways, uh, it may not be the most exciting feature, um, but it is super useful in day-to-day -day usage as you do not have to look up documentation and the help system does let you learn a lot about how to use pretty much any backend within vault without actually leaving the command line so that is it for path help and i'll see you in the next section